Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Taya McGarren, and I am a professional artist. The topic of conversation today is about what makes the difference between an artist and a professional artist. And I'm hoping to just give you a couple of insights on that. Um, I can't say I've solved the issue totally, but uh, I'm going to give it a try. Anyways, well, for many years now, I've been painting, and I always called myself an artist, and never thought of myself as a professional artist. Now, I had all the accoutrement, as you can see behind me, of what would make a professional artist, and yet, I never called myself a professional artist. So, a couple of weeks ago, I was with some friends, and we were talking about what is it that makes an artist and a professional artist different? And so I decided I would explore that today in today's video. Now, I know lots of artists who, whom I would term professional artists, and yet they just work maybe on weekends and whenever, whenever they can. Yet I would not call them artists. I would call them professional artists. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not talking in, in terms of, oh, you know, if you're an artiste, it is a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. That's not at all where, I, where I'm going with this, uh, with this topic. I'm talking about how you view yourself as, as, um, as an artist or a professional artist. When you call yourself professional artist, what does it convey for you in your mind? And if you call yourself an artist, or as I often hear, just an artist, um, what is it that comes up in your, in your mind, in your mind's eye? And I think that that's where I finally sort of um, dis decided, you know what? I spend a lot of time doing art. It's my main profession. It's how I describe myself. I'm a professional artist. I am not just an artist. Sort of like, you know, how people will all say, oh, well, I'm just a working mom. Well, you know what? You've got an important job to do. You're raising children, and art is there to raise spirits and, and you know, raise a, a sensitivity uh, to, um, to the world. So they're all valuable jobs, and one is not lesser than the other. So for me, it was an attitude change. I took a look at how much work I actually did per week and, you know, what do I do? Well, I do social media, I, um, I, I belong to clubs, I, I'm a member of CARFAC, I'm um, a member of FCA, Society of Canadian Artists, you, you list it. So as I progressed as an artist, I started developing more skills and, more importantly, more self-confidence about who I was. And I think that that, for me, is what made it different between artist and, and professional artist. Simply the fact of how I was mentally thinking about what do I do for my job. And I became very proud of what I was creating and how I was creating, and I was very goal-oriented and still am, and I think that that's when that shift kind of kind of happened. I, you know, out of the blue one day, I just said, you know what, I gotta stop calling myself just an artist, and accept that I'm a professional artist, and this is what I do. And when people say to me, well, what do you do for a living? And I say, I'm a professional artist. Say, oh, you're a painter. No. No, no, I'm a professional artist. This is what I do full time, and I really enjoy it. And you know, you guys should come on over and take take a look. Uh, of course, I always laugh because I have a ginormous studio, and so when uh, you know, occasionally people will say, "Oh, what a nice hobby you have!" I go, "Oh yeah, come on over. I'll sh I'll show you my hobby." And so I always have fun with it. You know, there's no need to get insulted about that sort of stuff. They don't know better, and um, yeah, yeah. You know, so you just go with the flow and. Uh, Go with it. So, nothing wrong at all with the word artist, but I have decided somewhere along the way that 
no, it's not just um, you know a passing phase. It's not something I do part time. I made a commitment to my art, and I believe that that really is up to you to decide if you are a professional artist or not. Um, either way, it's it's good news for the world. <laughs> but um, no, I call myself a professional artist because I'm proud, and I've worked hard to get to where I am, and I continue to work hard. And so, um, whether you're an artist, artiste, or you are a professional artist, you know what? Stand up for what you do, because it's by standing up and believing in yourself and what you're doing that you will go towards uh, loftier goals, if that's what you so wish. But be proud, whether you are artist or professional artist. And uh, that's basically the message is... Uh, be happy for your contribution to society. And I will leave you on that note. Thanks.